It's a great pleasure for me to be asked here tonight to swear in Amy Milliken as the president of CACO. Amy's been a friend of mine for many years. Her mother is uh, my fiscal court clerk and has worked with me for my entire tenure of 29 years. But I'm going to ask Amy to step down here in front because her daughter Ruthie is going to uh, hold the Bible for her as she's sworn in. And her daughter Abby and her daughter Chloe are also here with us with my fiscal court clerk, and her mom, and her dad, Terry. And also I'm going to ask Parker Thomas to come up because he's kind of part of the family as well. And then my county uh, uh, jailer and the manager of our Bowling Green Warren County Airport Board are all here just to see her sworn in. So I'm going to ask all of you all to come up right here and we're going to come down there. We're off um, We're off script a little bit, and I apologize to those who are in charge of lighting and uh, cameras uh, for not squaring this up with them. All good, Judge. All right. Stand. Why don't you stand right here? Right here. Yep. Perfect. Right here, and Ruthie. Come right on up here so y'all can be seen. Mom. Dad. Come on up. Come on up here. Susan. Jailer Harmon, come right up here. It's a great honor for me to be able to swear Amy in for about the fifth time. And this time for uh, not as county attorney, but uh, as the president of CACO, Kentucky Association of Counties. And she is already raising her right hand. So let me just, if you will follow me as I administer this oath, as I assume the role of president, as I assume the role of president of the Kentucky Association of Counties, of the Kentucky Association of Counties, I do promise and commit, I do promise and commit to always pre protect my county judge executive. <laughs> oh no, that's not in here. <laughs> to uphold the mission of CACO. To represent the interest of all counties. To represent the interest of all counties. And to do so fairly. And to do so fairly. I also commit to conduct myself. I also commit to conduct myself. In a way that represents personal integrity. In a way that commits to what? Personal integrity. Personal integrity. Got she it. she has a hard time with that. <laughs> <laughs> She's an attorney. <laughs> And with the professionalism expected. And with the professionalism expected. By my fellow county officials. By my fellow county officials. I promise to always be devoted. I promise to always be devoted. To preserve, protect, and promote. To preserve, protect, and promote. The best interest of counties first. The best interest of counties first. So help me God. So help me God. Yep. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good job. Thank Good job. You. I'm proud of you. Okay, you never know what's going to happen when Mike has the microphone, so, okay. And at this time, I'd like to pass the gavel on to our newly elected CACO president, Amy Milligan. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you for your leadership. All right, I'm going to put this back in here. 
Okay, somebody said, watch it when you give a politician a microphone, or watch it when you give a county attorney a microphone. So, um, good evening. I, I hope you all know how honored I am to stand before you tonight. Uh, it is truly an, an amazing thing, and I am so excited to be your 2023 CACO president. It's always a good evening when counties can come together and celebrate the people that make the county strong and vibrant. So tonight we are celebrating you. Mike, as he always does, kind of stole some of my thunder <laughs> because I was gonna introduce all of my family, so I do wanna quickly just kind of tell you about them. My mother, Brenda Hale, has served Warren County government for 41 years. Wow. She is gonna retire in March. Uh, Mike is retiring in December and she agreed to stay and train someone, but she's leaving in March. And so um, big shoes to fill to the next fiscal court clerk. My dad, Terry Hale, is the hardest working man in Warren County. And I don't know if you heard me talk about or talk to um, Ambassador Kraft earlier today, but I told her my father used to cut out articles of females who had done great things and bring them home and, and talk to me about them. Diane Sawyer, people from Kentucky. And he would say, you know, this is fantastic, but you can do a lot better. So I always had both parents pushing me to do great things. My daughter, Abby, has her master's from Western Kentucky University. My daughter, Chloe, is a junior at Western. My daughter, Ruthie, baby Ruth, is um, an eighth grader at the junior high, but she cheers for the high school. And she wanted to know if this was really special because she's missing a cheerleading practice tonight. And she goes, I, I need to make sure it's worth it. I'm like, well, I'll do my best to show you it's worth it. My girls grew up in the county attorney's office. Um, they had dinners there. They played at my feet. They helped me file things. They helped me find things. They helped me make copies, and there are lots of copies of their hands as well. Um, but I liked that they grew up in the county attorney's office because I wanted them to see the county, and being a county attorney was my passion. I wanted them to know you've got to find your passion, and you've got to go for it and give it everything you've got. And when they see that, they will know when you find that passion, you will never work a day in your life. Never. I've never worked a day in my life being county attorney because I've loved it. And I don't know about you all, but my, my, the people that I work with, they're my family. And Jailer Harmon is certainly my family. Susan is his wife. She's also our airport director, and I'll talk about her in a second. But she always says, Stephen, it's your work wife, because <laughs> we talk all the time, um, because he's sued all the time. <laughs> and, uh, and then I've got to tell you, 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 you got to poke it. you got to poke at the people you love. Um, but Stephen, a couple of, well, it's been, I guess, about six years ago. Yeah. Um, about six years ago, our jailer, Jackie Strode, retired. And when he did, Mike and I both thought Stephen Harmon would be fantastic as jailer. And we finally talked him into it. Mike appointed him, swore him in, and Stephen is still talking to me. Now that is love. That is love that he is still jailer and still talking to me since I talked him into it. I'm also so proud of his wife, who's the director of our Bowling Green Warren County Airport, the first female, I might add, so I'm pretty proud of her. So if you don't mind, could we give them an applause just for, for coming to support me? I also have to tell you, um, about an hour before my parents left Bowling Green, they got a call, and my brother, who has been a bachelor for 42 years, got married earlier this year. They are having the first grandbaby boy, and she went into labor, and he is here. Rex Hale has just been born, so we're, we're excited to have a, I'm excited to be an aunt. I stand before you tonight absolutely and completely ready to serve you. As a longtime KCO board member and, on, and now being on the executive committee for several years, I have learned so much from each of you. 
I have seen the trajectory of Keiko soar, and we were talking about that last night, how proud we were of Keiko. Senator Stivers even gave us a pat on the back about how much work we had put into it. We are focusing on advocacy with a robust manner. We're providing financial services, loans, and advice about our finances to counties from some of the best that can give you that advice. We've increased training, good, solid training, while providing legal services beyond compare. And if you don't believe me, call Rich and let him, let him quote you the statute as, as soon as you call him. We have worked to expand our insurance program all while keeping the cost down to counties. I gotta tell you, that's a whole lot of things. It kinda sounds like they're county attorneys because county attorneys do a whole lot of things. Speaking of county attorneys, um, I'm the second county attorney to be uh, nominated and elected as president of CACO. We're wild cards, as they say. There's a group of county attorneys here that are here to support me and I so appreciate you all being here. It has been an honor to work with each of you. You are the top of your profession. I think, spoken like a true county attorney, county attorneys are the glue really that holds the counties together. Now I wanna tell you just a little bit about me and, and how I grew up. So I grew up knowing that county leaders were the ones that got things done. My uncle was jailer, my cousin was jailer, and my grandfather was a magistrate. So when I was a little girl, I would come to town so Papa could go to physical court and Mama and I would go to Woolworth and have a Coke or ice cream at the counter. So to say my entire life I have been surrounded by county government would be an absolute true statement. When I was in high school and college, every summer I worked for County Judge Executive Basil Griffin, who served Warren County for 32 years. Now Judge Griffin would let me work in his office, but he also made me go to the Parks Department and the Road Department and the Commonwealth Attorney's Office and the County Attorney's Office. I had to work in every aspect of county government. And I asked him one day, I said, I, why do I have to go to the Parks Department again? I don't like it as much as I like working in your office. And he said, because you need to understand every aspect of county government. It's not just happening in my office. Every day when those men and women go to work, you need to see what they're doing. You need to be involved in it and you need to understand it to effectively run the county someday. So when I graduated from law school and came back and was an assistant county attorney, he was thrilled. So I know what you do. I couldn't do it. You, I'm in awe of you. You are truly heroes for the counties. Now whether you're a staff member for CACO, a county official, or you serve our great state in another capacity, I appreciate your willingness to serve the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Many CACO presidents have come before you with astute vision and steadfast leadership. Most recently, Judge Executive Gary Moore, Reagan Taylor, Magistrates Phil Salmon, and Elbert Bennett, thank you for guiding me. You have taught me so much. Our judge, our, I can't talk, our judge executives, magistrates, and commissioners have taken on such a vital and important role in CACO for almost half a century but they certainly will agree that they benefit from the eight affiliate offices, county attorneys being one. As I said, I'm the second county attorney to take this office. I'm the fourth female and I'm the seventh affiliate. CACO has been blessed by some dedicated, yet small group of um, dynamically essential group of wild cards. Mike Foster, Peanut Gaines, Debbie Jo Denton Hike, Nina Mooney, David Nicholson, and the icon herself, my friend Sue Carol Perry. Sue Carol, I will take just a minute. I want to thank you for the example that you have set for me um, and many women, and I'm going to tell you my daughters, because you have served the counties and CACO steadfastly and really heroically. We appreciate everything that you have done. So that's, that's from me to you. So, um, I also want to thank David Nicholson because uh, several years ago, David came to me and he also called Mike and Mike said, absolutely not, we have too much to do in Warren County, you are not <laughs> gonna serve on Keiko. But he talked to me and when someone um, comes to you um, and you respect them so much and they, they have so much um, 
so much faith in you. It, it really boosts you up and gives you that confidence. But without David, I wouldn't have ran. So I so, I so appreciate him, and he couldn't be here tonight. He's in D.C. with NACO. I also have to mention my share of Peanut Gaines. Peanut retired about four years ago, and I want to tell you all his health is declining. So if you have a minute, just give him a little thought or prayer. But he would, if he were able to be here, and he loved Keiko, and he loved the people here. But I will tell you, if he was standing here, he'd say, I made her everything she is today. If it wasn't for me, she wouldn't be standing up there. Am I right? That's exactly what he would say. So one of my priorities this year is to make sure all the wild cards out there, all the affiliates, know that you are welcome in CACO too, and you have a voice. The magistrates, the commissioners, and the judge executives want you to be active in CACO. Now the CACO staff is top notch. You are to be commended for the work that you do for all of us on a daily basis. Would you join me? I know you've done it already, but take a moment just to thank all of the KCO staff for everything that they do. <laughs> My fellow executive committee members, David Livingston, Dan Mosley, Bill Sammons, and now Adam Onan, I am honored to be serving with you. And there's one more judge executive that I'm going to uh, give a shout out to. So I have worked for Mike Buchanan over half my life. That's how much older he is than me, in case anyone was wondering. Over half my life. Um, we have worked together 26, a little bit over 26 years. And um, Mike has taught me so much. We had a tribute to him the other night. And it's, it's really hard to put into words um, the impact that Mike has had on my life. Uh, I always said that Mike was a yes man because he wanted to tell everybody yes, yes to development, yes to government, yes, or yes to corporations. I'm like, oh, God, he's exhausting me as I would chase him around. But um, he, has, he has done tremendous things in Bowling Green and Warren County. He's turned our limited growth county into one of the fastest growing counties in the Commonwealth. And we are so proud of him. We are so, so proud of him. We are going to miss him beyond words, but we are so thrilled that you get to retire and go enjoy the great grandbabies that he has. He has two great great grandbabies. So we we are we are thrilled, thrilled, thrilled for him. And he's not going away. He's just stepping out of that role. He knows that I will call him probably daily. <laughs> so in closing, I want to keep it simple. We have one goal, and that is to improve the lives of the citizens of the counties of the Commonwealth of Kentucky. I am so pleased to serve along each, on, alongside of each of you. Keiko belongs to all of us. It's here for all of us. There is so much to accomplish because stronger counties make a stronger Kentucky. Thank you for trusting me. And now it's time to get to work. So thank you so much.